You know what I love about living in France? It's not just the rolling hills, the trees, and long dog walks, and occasional conversation in Franglais. It's the wine. It hasn't been tainted by Richie Sunak and his latest set of rules. What on earth is that man thinking? There's something seriously wrong with his head to mess with our wine. Yes, it is true. They just made an announcement. I kid you not. We are scrapping, more like scraping the bottom of the barrel, outdated and burdensome rules so that our wineries, vineyards and traders can continue to innovate, literally innovate, to help grow our economy. Except you won't be able to export any more to the EU. They're changing the definition of what wine actually is. Seriously. And they're also Oh god they can... Okay, let me let me get something straight, alright? In the EU, alright? Wine has to be made from fruit juice, like grape juice and sugar. It sometimes might be a little bit warm, but generally it's fruit juice and sugar, that ferment ferment fermentation process because you've added some yeast not that kind of yeast no you get some caniston for that no um, for the fermentation process that's just wine and how much sugar you put in it yeah or how much uh well how sugary your grapes are will depend on how strong your wine is how much alcohol you'll have in your wine oh well not richie sunak's plan because currently the rules are relatively I, I, I'd say they're pretty lenient, to be honest. You can't call wine wine in the EU if the uh, alcohol, APV, is below 8.5%. That applies to all drinks. Any drink basically over 8.5% until it becomes a spirit is uh, a wine. We've got aperitifs as well, haven't you? Yeah, but anyway. So, Richie Soon's next plan is to get rid of that altogether. Your wine could be 0%. <laughs> no alcohol at all. And they'll still call it wine. Oh, I guess oh, that is, that is, What the hell are they thinking? And let's have a look over How much wine do we drink, though? Oh, how much wine do we actually make? Because uh, bottles of wine, we do about 12 million bottles of wine. A year. That's how many bottles of wine that we produced. So there's a tiny amount in the market, tiny incy wincy amount of wine that we produce in the United Kingdom. It amounts to about one day's worth of consumption. Oh my giddy -ah. Why the hell are they even bothering? Is it just so they can wave a little flag and say, well, see, it's one of the benefits of Brexit? Hmm? We got rid of an EU law. Maybe it's to keep the older. Off cap four lock, take a recent mark happy, maybe. But zero percent ABV wine? What's the point? When you just get a cart on the fruit juice. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> this is how much wine is consumed in the UK. Let me just freshen up that camera again. Look, it's gone silly look. Oh dear, I'm not moving. Why am I moving? Oh, now I've gone, and now I've come back. There I am. I do apologise. My camera just had a hissy fit. Well, anyway, I'm not going to look at the video, so it's tough tea. <laughs> anyway, as you can see in this pie graph here. Now, France drinks... This is of the global wine consumption, yeah? 10.7% of the wine consumed. They're, they're a major wine producer. The US is worse. It's 14%. Italy is 10.3%. Uh, and uh, Germany is 8.4, and the UK is 5.7%. Because it's too darn expensive. Now, I went to, uh, well, a motocross last weekend. You probably already know, because if you watch my video, well, <laughs> you, you could buy a, a beer for three euros, or a glass of wine for you. Proper glass, yeah, a, a full glass like that of wine. Well, what glass? It was, yeah, it was a cup, but, but the same sort of same amount. That's how cheap wine is in France, you see, because they don't tax it as much as the UK. 
Now, currently, I did write it down, actually, somewhere. I can't remember where I wrote it down, but there we go. It used to be um, we had the biggest tax hike in uh, wine in the UK per bottle. It used to be £2.23 uh, for every bottle of wine that's sold in the UK. That's how much tax is on the bottle. Now it's gone up to £2.68 plus VAT. Honest? Yeah. It's nuts. No wonder they're having to bring down, uh, well, the alcohol, because that's what the tax is based on. There's about 27 different types of taxation. It's just nuts. On wine. Well, you see, what well, it is, you see. They're bringing out this new wine. Yeah. Sludge wine. Made from the pomace. The pomace is like, basically, you know when they, uh, you crush your grapes? So you're doing your thing. You're crushing your grapes. Well, your feet. Okay, commercially, it's not done that way, I know. But I'm going to say, you're, using your, you're, you're crushing the grapes with your feet, and your root just fall off, and occasional toenail. Maybe you've got a yeast infection in your toes, you know, like an athlete's foot or something like that. It's all going into the old uh, mash. So a mash or a wart with wine? I can't remember now. Uh, or was it a wash? Oh, well, I can't remember. Anyway, you, um, you're treading it all in, all the bits of your body are falling off into it, you see. All that stuff, and all the juice is coming off, you see. It goes off into, you know, through a little snow, into a barrel or whatever, ready to be fermented. No, no. No, that stuff still happens, yeah. But all the stuff that's left in there that you've been treading with your feet can now be made into wine. Again. The sludge. Now, that's all very well, because there are some drinks, actually, there's a brandy. Come in, what's called now. Uh, but there's a, there's, a, there's a brandy, uh, Italian brandy, I think, which is made with this stuff. Dapple, chapel, stapper, or something. Anyway, it's, it's, it's an Italian brandy. And the problem with it is, the problem that's pretty gross, is that it's full of tannins. Because in the skins, you see, all the tannins are in the skins and the seeds. And, yeah. And that's the stuff that gives you a blind and headache. <laughs> So your government, oh Richie Sunak, wants to give up <laughs> everyone a headache. He's already doing that on his own. He doesn't need to do this. He's just going to have a blinding headache because all the tannins in your wine, in your cheap wine. So this is a way to avoid the actual taxation, obviously bringing the, you know, the, the yeah, alcohol levels down as well. But using this old sludge, this sludge you see used to go... Uh, in the EU, so it would be used fertilizers and stuff. It contains a lot of nutrients, like nitrogen and stuff in it. So it gets used in fertilizers, but also it can be used in some food production. But it's going through another process. You're not eating the the bits of wood, the stick, you know, the sticks, the seeds, and the in the skins, the pulp. What's left? The dry pulp. But like that, Richie Sue next plan. It's for you to, uh, well, drink it. Oh, I get the aunt. See, normally the wine making product, uh, byproduct is known as a uh, grape mark. Uh -huh. And consists of um, the pulp, the skin, the seed, that is left over after pressing. And making 750 milliliters of wine standard size bottle uses around 1.17 uh, kilos of grapes. And about 20% of which is made up of this so-called waste product. And now it's going to be made back into wine. And I kid you not, if I go into this BBC article here, right, okay, here's the Gov page showing all the thing, all the changes. But let's go through the BBC one first. So, wine by definition to be watered down in post Brexit move. Uh, under e, the rules, the UK inherited from the EU that when they were rolled over, uh, wine typically has contained at least 8.5% alcohol by volume. To be marketed as such. But there's loads of other things as well, like the labelling, they can have dual labelling on, which might be a good thing. But the only problem is, is that is the address. The the address on the labelling has to be this um the actual supplier, not the importer. Well, how are we gonna know the origins of the stuff? You know? It could be from anywhere to get poisoned. And, and we're not going to export it because it doesn't meet the EU's rules. What are you going to call it? Fizzy Pop? I don't know. Well, it shouldn't be carbonated, it'd be Fizzy Pop, but yeah. So the government uh, says Brexit presents a unique opportunity to bugger everything up. <laughs> to remove overly complex EU air regulations. 
Legally, wine must be produced by the alcohol, uh, alcoholic fermentation of grape juice. Now, alcohol-free and low-alcohol versions are made by removing the alcohol afterwards through a variety of techniques. However, in order to be labelled as wine, it currently needs to have a minimum uh, APV of 8.5% or 4.5% for certain brands of wine that can only be, do, be, be produced in certain regions. So all no, uh, low-alcohol wines uh, basically start off as wine. Wine. With alcohol. And then it's taken out. Now the government has confirmed it intends to lower the minimum APV to 0%. Which basically means you can just have any old thing. It can just be the fruit juice. And call it wine. See, it's a legal definition. They can't, you can't sell this stuff in the EU. It won't be legal to do so. They can't export it. So all these, anyone intending to make this stuff, what are they going to do with it? Are you going to drink it? Really? I keep forgetting where the camera is. It's there. Oh, dear me. <laughs> We've already got the situation with the labelling, but not for the EU. We said, this wine is not for the EU either. <laughs> Oh, crikey, what poor old Liz Trust with all the selling apples and stuff like that. That'd be all the wine, wouldn't it be all the wine? Oh, we're going to sell shitloads of wine to France, what have you. She'll say something like this now, I suppose. That is a disgrace. More than likely. Oh, this is getting painful. It's getting just apps. Uh, uh, they're destroying the country. Absolutely breaking everything. Is this government? Where's that little disc? Oh, there it is. Look. Okay. Uh, what time we got? We've got 11 minutes. Well, it is 11 minutes, sorry. Uh, in, so, the import of labeling is going to change regarding the addresses and what have you. Hybrid grape varieties. Picoet, which is like a low alcohol um, fermented drink. So, you can't call it a wine because, well, anyway, because it, this stuff is when it's fermented, it's under 8.5%. Blending wines, foil wraps, and mushroom stoppers. Oh, my giddy up. They're not getting rid of the mushroom stopper, are they? I think I did hear that somewhere. Well, the mushroom stopper is the one they put in champagne and sparkling wine and in some ciders. And the reason why is because it's more carbonated and the, the mushroom cork behaves like a dovetail inside the bottle. Yeah, no, don't get the wrong idea. Inside the bottle, and it holds itself in the bottle, it swells up inside the bottle. So until you stop rising it off, it won't, it, it won't explode. <laughs> oh, God, um, wine certification arrangements, bottle shapes. Yes, we have any old shape of bottle now. It could be like a naked lady. Oh, lovely. Why would people care? They just want to drink the wine. I suppose it could be an opportunity to collect bottles. Oh, God. And also, what about the transportation of these bottles? You're going to need to take more space up. Methods of analysis and controls on enrichment, ice wine, <laughs> approved onage of wine making processes. And uh, I can't say that owner logical um, wine making processes and methods of recognizing and recording these and transforming wine sector products in Great Britain. So, wine is no longer going to be really wine, it well, it could be anything from zero percent to what you expect wine to be. Are you excited about this? Are you excited about this new announcement? Because I, I don't think I am. And I'm sure my kids won't be over in the UK. Luckily, I'm in France. And wine is cheap. This is a lovely bottle of Bordeaux. There's a good bottle of Bordeaux. Do you know, it costs 4 99 Euros, that is. Yeah. Oh, I had to look online. Do you know how much it costs in, in the UK? For the exactly the same bottle of wine. £16! You're getting ripped off. Look like a cartel of importers now in the UK, charging whatever they like and putting the costs on to you. Well, there you go. What say you? Please leave it in the comments down below. And please boot the old like button because it helps the channel, you know. A very wise man said something which I'll share with you in a moment. But first, if you want to support the channel, you do that on Patreon or you buy us a coffee. And also there's some, well, you've got memberships and other stuff anyway links are down below but also we're, we're planting trees here in france we're planting a thousand trees on two hectares of land for the little animals and oxygen <laughs> it's a rewilding project anyway we're planting trees and but every tree we plant we'll put a sign with the tree with your name on or maybe a memory of a loved one what have you so anyway, links down below <sighs> anyway i think it's time for me to go but 
I'm going to leave you with this. A very once wise man once said... Oh, I wonder what he said. Oh, he said... Uh, where is it? There it is. This. By the way, I've been wondering what that special place in hell looks like for those who promoted Brexit without even a sketch of a plan how to carry it safely. Thank you.